Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss topological shorting. Already, we have discussed topological shorting with one example, both for DFS method as well as source removal method. This is the second example. So, what do you mean by topological shorting? Topological shorting is nothing but ordering of vertices, linear ordering of vertices. This topological shorting can be implemented with the help of two methods. One is DFS method and another one is source removal method. So, DFS method if you are considering in this sense, these are all the design steps. In the given graph, first we need to select one vertex as the arbitrary vertex. And when the vertex is visited for the first time, we need to push that vertex into the stack. Whenever the vertex become a dead end, that is through that vertex, further we cannot able to extend to visit another new vertices in the sense, it reaches a dead end. In that case, you can remove that vertex from the stack. So, repeat this step 2 and 3 for all vertices in the given graph. And if you are reversing the order of deleted items to get the topological sequence. So, here we will discuss the second example implemented with DFS method. So, this is the given graph. So, for this given graph, first step that is initial step if you are considering in the sense, one vertex you need to select as the arbitrary vertex. So, here starting vertex you consider the alphabetical order, the first letter it is A. Okay. So, starting vertex you consider it as A. So, stack if you are considering initially starting vertex A, we have not yet considered its adjacent vertices. So, node visited is nothing but the starting vertex A and we have not popped any other vertices here. Okay. Since this is the first vertex. Next, step 1. So, now we have visited the vertex A and A is inside the stack. That is, we have pushed A into the stack and now consider the adjacent vertices to A according to its direction. Forward direction you need to consider. Okay. So, through A you can able to reach to B and C. Both you can able to reach. So, if there are more than one vertices, always we need to break the tie by considering in alphabetical order. So, alphabetical order B comes first. So, adjacent vertex, you consider it as B and node visited is nothing but A and B, not popped any other vertices here. So, stack pop is empty only. So, now if you are considering the stack contents, if you are considering in the sense, initially we have pushed A into the stack. Now, the stack element is B. So, stack, if you are considering it is A comma B. Now, the top element of the stack is B. So, its adjacent vertices we need to consider. So, if you are considering the adjacent vertices to B in the sense, F and C is adjacent to B. Break the tie and visit C. So, adjacent vertex is C. Node visited is A, B and C already have visited. We have not yet popped any vertices from the stack. So, it is dash. Next, third step. After pushing C, now the top element of the stack is C. So, now we need to consider the adjacent vertices to C. So, adjacent vertices to C if you are considering according to its direction, we cannot able to reach any other vertices from C. So, it is nothing but no adjacent vertices. So, stack content is A, B, C. You cannot able to visit any other vertices. So, no adjacent vertices and the node visited is A, B and C. And the top element if you are considering the C in the sense, it has reached a dead end. Meaning, you cannot able to reach any other vertices from C. So, pop C from the stack. The first vertex popped from the stack is C. We have popped C from the stack, right? Next is step 4 you consider. Now the top element is B, right? So if you are considering B, A comma B, adjacent vertices to B if you are considering already C you have visited. And one more vertex you can reach from C, that is F. So adjacent vertex is F, node visited is A, B, C and F. And in this step we are not popping any item. So, now F will be pushed into the stack. Now, the top of the element is F. So, fifth step, the stack content is A, B, F and the adjacent vertices reachable from F is G. So, adjacent vertex is G. Node visited is A, B, C, F, G and we have not popped any element in this step. And next step, the top element of the stack if you are considering it is G, right? So, now the top element is G. So, adjacent vertex to G if you are considering, you cannot able to reach any other vertices from G. So, G reached a dead end. So, there is no adjacent vertices. Node visited is A, B, C, F and G and we have to pop G from the stack. So, now the stack content after popping G in the sense, stack content is A, B and F. So, now the top of the element is F. 
and consider the adjacent vertices to f there is no adjacent vertex to f so dash only node visited is a b c f and g we have to pop f from the stack since it reached a dead end if any vertex you can able to reach from the top element of the stack in the sense we can proceed with that otherwise meaning is it reached a dead end next eighth step after popping f the stack contents are a b sorry a and b only so now consider adjacent vertices to b f and c already visited f and c now b also reached a dead end so the node visited is same only no change in this and we have to pop b also from the stack right next after popping b what is the only element in the stack it is a only consider other adjacent vertices to a both b and c is visited already so what we have to do so we need to pop a also from the stack so now the stack is empty so if you are considering in this graph still universal vertices remain unvisited okay we have not checked other vertices that is d we have not checked h and i we have not checked so alphabetical order next we will consider d and we will push d into the stack adjacent vertex to d no adjacent vertex to d because c is all, only adjacent vertex to d is c c is already visited right so meaning is d reached a dead end so we can pop d also from the stack okay we have pushed here and we have popped here okay next universal vertices remains unvisited is h in alphabetical order so h you consider push it into the stack adjacent vertex to h is i and node visited see here node visited d you have to add right next here node visited is a b c f g d and i f g d and h and then here h and then i also two steps here we have combined initially we have to show h then we have to add the adjacent vertex i but here we have combined anyway it's okay so here no need to pop anything here okay the stack content is h and then we have pushed i here right so i if you are considering the top element adjacent vertex to i is no adjacent vertices next stack content is h and so here h comma i now the stack content is h comma i no adjacent vertices to i and node visited is same only and we have popped i since it reached a dead end now the stack content is h only no adjacent unvisited vertex to h node visited is same only that is a b c f g d h and i and we have to pop h also from the stack now the stack is empty and here in this graph if you are considering we have visited all other vertices in the given graph there is no more new vertex you have to visit so here if you are considering a dfs method we have to consider the popped order of the stack so popped order if you are considering in the sense what is our c g f b a d and i and h this is the popped order c g f b a d i h and the topological sequence if you are considering in the sense it is if you are reversing this popped order we will get the topological sequence so topological sequence is h i d a b f g c so this is nothing but the topological order so this is nothing but the topological order or topological sequence h i d a b f g c so if you are reversing the popped order in the sense you will get the topological sequence Thank you for watching this video.